All right, assignment time. Um, so our objective here is to run this through the radiation analysis uh, definition. So um, we're going to do around 10 o'clock in the middle of the summer, um, 10 o'clock in the morning, in the middle of the summer, um, the sun's, actually maybe I'll do nine o'clock because the sun's gonna be more intense. Yeah, nine o'clock in the morning, middle of the summer, um, in Palm Springs, and we're going to test how many of these panels are really being effective, right? How much of the glazing surface is receiving sunlight? So um, our objective in doing this is to make sure that the number of panels is reduced as much as possible while still getting enough coverage on the uh, glazing itself. So if I'm looking at something like this, am I going to get enough coverage at nine o'clock in the morning in the middle of Palm Springs in the middle of summer um, from this panel system? So the way you do that is to very quickly, you can just bake this out onto a layer. And I know I started generating a few extras here, so I'm just gonna, I'll create one. Yeah, let me create a layer for it actually. Oh no, I opened up materials. All right. Uh, so just uh, create a new layer. Layer six is fine. So I'll just uh, bake this onto layer six. And actually while I'm at it, I suppose I'll just bake the other stuff out too. So I have um, my, where is it? These louvers. And I have the top louver. You don't have to do this. I just want you to do it for the east, but I figure I'll do it while I'm here. So, and I have this, like this, layer six. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so um, now my grasshopper is going to stay open, um, but I'm going to hide it all. And you might as well save while you're here. <clears throat> and so I'll take this into my radiation analysis study. So, um, I should hide layer one. Um, so all I have is my wall, my glazing behind, and all of the louvers and, and screening elements that I just created. So um, I think I have one open. Let me see if I just have one open. I can run it through. Nope, I don't. All right. So I'll open the radiation analysis grasshopper definition here. So let me go to File, um, Open. I'll go back to Shading Study, Radiation Study, Radiation Analysis. <clears throat> so at this stage, guys, it's going to be really easy, I think, for you to start doing this analysis, right? So we're, we're starting to build this into the design process. So once you have your model, just bake a couple out onto sort of a throwaway layer so that you can just delete it and, and fix it later. Um, and then you can just pop this open and you should be able to just hit run and you're good to go if these computers ever load. There we go. <clears throat> so uh, the weather data, oh, this is the old one. Darn. Let me go to Palm Springs. Sorry, mine wasn't saved, but yours will be saved properly so you don't have to do this like I am right now. BW. And you just replace, you take out all the context stuff if it's still there, and you just replace it with this model, and you, you're good to go to test it. So also, my, my building, notice how the red axis at the bottom, is my building's tilted off of the red axis, so it's kind of, um, it's a little, mine's going to be a little bit more uh, kind of northeast-ish, so it's not going to capture as much light. Depends on what kind of configuration you have, but some of your buildings might actually be closer to exactly east. So um, maybe you want to test for that. I'm not sure. Uh, so let's do that real fast. Whoop, there it is. <clears throat> um, the context, we don't have any, so I'm not going to worry about BREP. And the test geometry is going to be all of the geometry that you see here. So this is going to take a little while. And in the video, I'm going to pause uh, as it calculates. So real quick, for the sake of the video, I just wanted to show you that I tested it. And it looks like it's pretty clear here. 
um, because my glazing is pretty recessed. I've got a lot of panels, but this is for the entire year. So that's not exactly correct. What I'm going to have to do is delimit the date that it's testing. So uh, let me go to Ladybug and where exactly was analysis period? There we go. So the analysis period is going to be how I override exactly the day, right? So I'm going to go and get a param or uh, sorry, a panel from params and I'll just state the date that I want. So I'll use June as my um, month and the day, the 22nd and the hour was 9 a.m. And uh, all of this, so the month is going to be June to June. The day is the 22nd, still on the 22nd, but the hour is going to go from 9 to 10. Hour, 9 to 10. And then the analysis period plugs in here, and that will recalculate. It'll take a moment. All right, and so it just finished um, recalculating and it created another layer. So let me turn off the one I just tested and I'll turn on the one that it just created. So here is the uh, radiation analysis for this model. So let me turn off all this. Oh, I need that on. Turn that off, this on. Uh, why won't that go on? Oh, ah, there we go. That off, that off, that off, this on. Come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, so here's the radiation analysis for um, from nine o'clock to ten o'clock in uh, on June twenty second in Palm Springs. Um, so what you can see here is that the panels are somewhat effective in blocking out some of the sunlight. And um, in other cases, it's really not. So uh, I think I want to get a little more fine-tuned here because these blocks are really, really large. So I'm going to change the grid size from 4 to something a little smaller. So let me make this a 1. Uh, it should take hopefully not four times as long to calculate. So let me pause again and we'll get back into it. All right, resuming, um, we, yeah, we are resuming. Okay, so um, let me turn off the old one, turn on the new one. Oof. All right, so here's a more detailed analysis, right? So the reason I moved it down is because I didn't, I suspected that that wasn't accurate enough for me. So what I'm seeing is that there are hot spots here that are pretty intense. Are you guys kind of understanding here how, how this should work? You know, we've got to calibrate. Not only do we have to calibrate that, but we probably should be calibrating this as well. Um, good news is the southern facade at 9 o'clock looks just fine. Fine and dandy. Um, so basically what I want you to do is get this to a point where most of the eastern facade is relatively cool. Questions? So you guys are working on your design building, I believe, um, for the radiation analysis. Well, actually, no, you're not. You're working with me on this one. Okay, so don't worry about it for your design building, but you probably will have to do this for Iggy. Yeah. 